if one of the elements, either design or application or operation or maintenance, is absent or incorrect or inadequate, then the reliability chain is weak. And so you can see the weak link right there in the reliability chain. Here's an example, and it's an example that has nothing to do with pumps. It is a car that I was behind on the highway. And I said to myself, as soon as that guy stops, I'm going to stop with him. I'm going to take a picture because it's an excellent teaching tool. Well, that is the car right there. <clears throat> now, the engine and the chassis of that small compact car are designed for economy. That car would be adequate for a small family for mostly city driving. It is not a heavy duty work vehicle. Now, having said that, watch the screen. Let the picture morph. There we go. Yes, there's the rest of the picture. <laughs> now you can see why I couldn't pass it. Now you can see why the car was all over the road. That car is too small for that trailer. Now there's nothing wrong with the car. It's a good car. There's nothing wrong with the trailer. But mating that car to that trailer is a problem. That's a bad application. Now wh what does that have to do with pumps? Often you'll have a very good pump in the wrong application and the only thing that you know is that it's a problematic pump. It, it takes out the mechanical seal. The pump leaks. The seal fails mysteriously. The bearings fail mysteriously. And then the pump right next to it or, or, or over in the next room, it's the same model of a pump, rebuilt by the same people, maintained in the same shop with the same mechanical seals, the same grease, the same bearings, and it's not a problematic pump. But in uh, this application where I am, it's a problematic pump. And normally that's a, an application. If you have pumps where you work that are not problematic, and then the same model of pump where you work is problematic, it likely is the wrong pump for that application. And I see that all over the place.